IB English B Higher Level, May 2023, Paper 1, Task 3, Level 7 Answer. Navigating the maze of independence, life lessons from moving out at 18. Where do I begin this blog? Moving out brings a whole new set of challenges that I never even considered. I recently made the leap from the comfy nest of my parents' house to the thrilling world of living with friends. Let me tell you, it's been a roller coaster of experiences. Like most teenagers, the chance to leave home is a dream come true. However, reality is so much different. The initial excitement and thrill is quickly replaced with panic, fear and worries. Buying every day utensils like pots and pans and even curtains costs money and we never think about these prior to moving in with friends. An aunt once remarked that you only know what a person is like once you either go on vacation or live with them. How true. My best friend's habits were a constant source of our problems. Dirty dishes in the sink, late night, Netflix binges, an overflowing rubbish bin and play music too loud at night were not what I expected. Utility bills, rent, grocery shopping, these were just words before and now they are a constant reminder of the responsibilities that come with living independently. Suddenly my weekends transformed from Netflix marathons to budgeting sessions. And, not, and let's not even talk about the struggle of assembling IKEA furniture. Some, someone give me an award for that. Living with friends is like having a sleepover that never ends, right? Or kind of. It's amazing to be surrounded by people you enjoy spending time with and this can be accomplished if we behave in a responsible and sensible way. Communication is key. I've learned that addressing issues head on is crucial in maintaining a peaceful living environment. Passive aggressive notes on the fridge are so high school drama. Instead, we've established a weekly house meeting to discuss concerns and allocate chores. It's not always smooth sailing, but it beats the alternative. Another thing I never really considered was personal space. It turns out everyone needs it, even the people you adore. Establishing boundaries, boundaries and respecting each other's need for solitude has been a crucial part of making this communal living experiment work. Moving out at 18 has been an eye-opener it's not just about paying bills and doing chores. It's about personal, personal growth and finding your footing in the world. Independence is a double-edged sword. Sure, you get the freedom to eat ice cream before breakfast, but you also have to deal with the consequences of that decision. Responsibility is not just about paying rent on time. It's about being accountable for your actions and understanding the impact they have on those around you. I've come to realise that becoming an adult is not a destination, but a journey. One that involves constant learning, adopting and growing. In the grand scheme of things, this experience has shown me that life is messy and unpredictable, but it's what makes it beautiful. It's about embracing the chaos, learning from it and growing into the person you aspire to be. So, to all you young souls considering taking the plunge into the world of solo living, brace yourself. It won't always be smooth, but the lessons you'll learn are worth every challenge. Here's to the messy kitchens, the late night heart to hearts, and the undeniable growth that comes with stepping into the world of adulthood. It would be great to know your thoughts about this issue. Please feel free to comment. Tips for candidates. 
Please plan your written response. Spend about 10 minutes planning your answer. This is the golden rule if you want to obtain a level 7. Remember the three parts of the task do not have to be equal in length. However, each part must be discussed. If one part of the task has only one sentence or is left out, then the response cannot be a level 7. Finally, good luck with your exam.